Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter into the cage. From right here in Manchester, Daniel Maximus. E a pele escura, a ferida, a chaga, a procura da cura, nego drama, tenta ver e não vê nada, a não ser uma estrela, longe meio ofuscada, sente o drama, o preço, a cobrança, no amor, no ódio, a insana vingança, nego drama, eu sei quem trama e quem tá comigo, o drama que eu carrego pra não ser mais um preto fudido, o drama da cadeia e favela, túmulo, sangue, sirene, choros e velas. Passageiro do Brasil, São Paulo, Bonilla, que sobrevive em meia zona e covardia. Manchester, his feet Brian Lakes here alongside the NM16 Bundes to call the action at what looks to be an exciting event. And we're picking it off now with two fighters making their pro uh, amateur debuts here on the Tanko Show. First up, Daniel Maximus, fighting out of France, originally from Portugal. Uh, a boxing background, but has moved into MMA over the last year. And he says he just feels free. He can do anything he wants in the cage. The only thing he can't do is fly. It's great to see that sort of attitude from a young fighter like this. Yeah, we just walked him out of the opponent on the lift, and he's got so much confidence, you know. And this is a great show to start on, you know, the production, everything. He's UFC level. It's unbelievable. And when you talk about the card, and we'll go through it uh, as we move along, this is uh, two fighters with an amateur debut. On the card, we have uh, two fighters that have got 60 pro fights between them. They've really uh, layered this card with experience, talent, big names, and giving young fighters like this an opportunity to experience a big show, a, sm a show that runs, like you said, to the top, top level. This is going to be uh, a huge step for them, and it's going to help them move on in their careers, uh, leaps and bounds. It certainly is. And you know, looking at the, the, last, the last fight card, people are wanting to fight on this show. They saw the production, they saw the levels. It went out, you know, um, on the internet live. This is a show people want to be on. Absolutely. And Daniel Maximus was grabbing the opportunity with both hands. A late replacement as well. Only had three weeks notice for this fight. Talked to him just before he, uh, he went and got his medicals done. Very relaxed on the day. He said he, he doesn't feel nervous. He just feels absolute excitement that he can express himself and do his thing in the cage this evening. Fighter. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Tango FC presents three three minute rounds in the amateur Pantom Wing division. And in the blue corner, making his debut, weighing in at 62 kilograms, representing Franks from Manchester, Tanya Maximus. And his opponent, Fries, in the red corner, also making his debut, weighing in at 61.7 kilograms, representing Anarchy in Bolton, Nathan. Charge action, Mr. Paul Crossley. So we are set for our first fight here. Tanko 2 at the Victoria Warehouse. Daniel Maximus in the blue corner, in the grey Valetudo shorts, and Nathan Mann in the red corner in the black Under Armour shorts. They touch him up. Daniel, uh, Nathan said to me, because he's a late opponent, he hasn't been able to watch much tape on his fight. He said, this first round will really be feeling out, seeing where his strikes are going, but it doesn't seem to be much <laughs> feeling out going on there, does there? <laughs> I was just going to say, it doesn't look like they're going to feel out. They want to get in there. Two guys with strike experience. It's nice, dirty boxing from Maximus. Maximus from the boxing background, uh, and uh, Nathan from the Thai boxing background. So that could play into this game, but... It's always an interesting transition of styles and mix of styles when you do have the tie boxing versus the boxing. See whether they go into those ranges, but at the moment, they're going into this clinch range and really trying to work the dirty boxing, clinch against the fence. And we should take into account two fighters stepping in, the nerves, the adrenaline for this first amateur fight on a big show like this. Yeah, it's a huge, huge stage for them to come out to. Maximus looks strong against the fence. He's turned him there, pressing the shoulder in. I like the way he mixes up the knees to the legs, the knees to the body. Certainly looks to have the strength on Nathan there. Nathan will need to work out. Those are, those are big knees from Maximus. Yep. Well, to say man's the tie box, so the knees are coming from Maximus, and you can't take too many of those in a clinch. Little spin there as well from Maximus, showing a bit of versatility. Confident striking. Here, yeah, the corner there screaming for head movement. I think exactly the same thing. Look at this. Maximus certainly looking more composed and more comfortable in the cage in this first few exchanges. Yeah, it looks to be growing in confidence as he lands the shots. Very relaxed style, light on his toes, mixing up the jab to the body, the knees, the low kick. That's a solid leg kick coming back there from Mann, but like you say, the tie boxing from Maximus, which we thought was going to be mainly a boxer, it looks fairly effortlessly. Absolutely. He seems to be, uh, to say he's only been training full MMA for about five, six months over there at Frank's gym, That's he's taken to it very well. And what, what an actual uh, physique for it as well. Long limbs, very rangy, good movement. This is perfect to make those transitions into MMA. Oh, it really is, especially you know for the guard work, the submission game, he's got really good physique. Attacking that lead leg of man with the inside and outside. Nathan trying to respond his corner, asking for more. Tries to give it. I think he needs to. We can't let Maximus grow in confidence. We can see him sort of growing as it as it goes through. Trying these spinning kicks. Just a little too hesitant for me, man. He did say he was going to look for a feeling out in this first round, but you've got to pull the trigger. That's, that's the key. It looks like the person who's been, become more comfortable, being able to, uh, and even looking there, a little bit of showmanship with the crowd, trying to egg him on. Maximus is the way he even eyed up the ring girl there as she went past. That's, <laughs> that's, what confidence. I, that's confidence for you. There you go. And that's what we need. I think that's what they need more from, uh, for, uh, from Nathan. They need more of that um, composure, but also just pulling that trigger. Yeah, but that's exactly it. I think that's what the corner will be saying to him right now. He was just a little too hesitant. He's fainting. He's trying to draw the shots, but he's not coming back with his own. And under the amateur rules, we've got three three-minute rounds here. There'll be uh, uh, elbows are allowed, but there's no knees to the head. Both corners talking to their uh, fighters. Nathan Mann, they're trying to urge a bit more out of him. And being very technical as well, that's what I like to see. Talking about combinations he could use, uh, things he needs to be aware of. That's what you want from a corner, isn't it? It definitely is. You, you want, 
nice, concise, clear information. You don't, none of this, why well, you need to get out there and hit him. <laughs> Knock his head off. It's not, that's not what we need. And I think they, uh, they're a very experienced camp over there, and they'll be looking to get more out of their fighter as we go into round two. Maximus looking again to explode out of his corner. They touch him up again. Maximus in the blue corner. Nathan Mann in the red. It's interesting, he throws that right cross, it's like a, a hook rather than a, than a straight right, but he's catching uh, man over the top with it. Again there, he throws it as a hook. Nice to see a little bit more head movement from man here. That was one thing they were asking for, closing the distance there. Well, that worked for him there. You know, he switched, slip side, slip side, and then threw the jab straight down the middle. I think the jab, again, is an underutilized weapon. Without a doubt. Yeah. Without it, so much can come off the back of it, and uh, and it can cause a lot of damage as well. That, that's the thing. If you can start working on the nose of the opponent, even just jabbing out three, four times. A nice stiff jab. Absolutely. Especially with these little gloves on. So yeah, I think it's a better start here from Man in this round. Adding the pressure, dropping the knee there to the leg of Maximus. Working that head position as well. Yes, well, that's a sign of good corner instructions. He's come out for this round switched up his game and this looks a lot better now keeping the weight on him there as the corner is calling for but got to be careful oh, of that, that big that knee. knee again and again he might be dropping for a submission here so there was he sunk him with that knee to the body they went for the guillotine Nathan man is he is all cut up here there's a huge amount of blood coming out of his nose yeah this is bad times here for Nathan man he's turning his back the blood is pouring out. Looking on carefully. The referee is there. Blood and everywhere coming now. Right in front Mann. of us as well. Maximus unleashing, and the referee's called it. What a devastating finish from Daniel Maximus there. He saw blood. He was like a shark. <laughs> and he, he just yeah, went yeah. for it. But those knees from the clinch, he was struggling against the cage. Nathan Mann had changed his game up. And then two short, sharp knees from the huge Daniel Maximus. What a debut for this young man. Nathan Mann, just being seen to by the doctors. There's a big cut there on his nose. Fighter safety paramount, so they'll be seeing to that firstly. But let's talk through that as a debut, as we wipe the blood away from our desk. <laughs> you can't quite see that here, but uh, we've got some notes in front of us. And uh, First fight and we're blood splattered first, already. First fight and we're blood splattered already. There we go. Look at that. Daniel Maximus not content with that performance. He tries to take down the six foot seven uh, official there little bit of fun but let's talk about his performance because what a wonderful way to start his amateur career just looks so relaxed he, uh, for the first fight out there and he just looks one to watch for me without a doubt without a doubt and coming out of that gym as well franks they bring out some great fighters they've got some solid training out there we've got a few of frank's fighters on here um uh, today so it'll be interesting to see if they follow the same template because that for me mentally to come in there that ready was was one of the most unbelievable debuts i've seen in a long time it certainly was it'd be interesting to see in, in future fights, what ground game he's got to go with that striking, because if it matches, he's going to be a real star. And his confidence. That's the thing. Even he nearly got the ring girl's phone <laughs> number in between rounds. <laughs> That's hilarious. There we go. So Daniel Maximus announces his uh, amateur career here at Tanko 2. And you can follow the action at Tanko at Tanko FC on Twitter. Let us know what you think. Let us know which fights you're most excited about, which fighters you're looking forward to seeing. And we'll hand it back to our MC for the evening, Mr. Rick Wright. He calls a stop the contest at one minute and 40 seconds of the second round for your winner by TKO, Daniel Maximus. <laughs> and let's hear for your runner up, Nathan Mann. Oh, well, I got blood on me. That's what we like to see from our fighters. Great amount of respect.
great amount of respect between the two young athletes there and a great show of appreciation from the crowd for the show they put on. You talk about starting a show with a, uh, a certain tone. They've set it there, haven't they? They've set as a light. There's blood all over the canvas already. Some great techniques, some great skill. And I think we've just been introduced to a new character in the sport. We'll be keeping our eye out for Daniel Maximus. And we also look forward to seeing Nathan Mann back in the cage very soon.